One of my favorite psalms is Psalm 148, which seems an appropriate psalm to read on the night before Earth Day. Praise the Lord. Praise God from the heavens. Praise God in the heights. Praise God, all the angels. Praise God, all the hosts. Praise God, sun and moon. Praise God, all you shining stars. Praise God, you highest heavens. Let them praise the name of God. For God commanded and they were created. God established them forever and ever. God fixed their holy bounds which cannot be passed. Praise God from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling God's commands, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together, let them praise the name of God, for God's name alone is exalted. God's glory is above earth and heaven. God has raised up a horn for God's people. Praise for all God's faithful, for the people of Israel who are close to God. Praise the Lord. I invite you to close your eyes and breathe deeply. And just think about that word, Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Alleluia. Holy One, there is so much to be thankful for in this wonderful world that you created for us the rose bushes that are blooming spectacularly all over the place, the snails that litter the sidewalk after a rain, the feeling of a breeze blowing on you, the sun shining down upon you. There is so much to be thankful for. The place you have given us is so incredibly wonderful and amazing. So thank you. But Holy One, there are worries we have about our planet right now. And so we turn to you with our worries, our fears, our anxiety. God, we ask you to be with the people and lands that are facing incredible droughts, especially in places where it is leading to the mass die-off of animals, the starvation of your people. islands where the sea is starting to rise, where the storms are so strong and getting stronger. We lift up to you the families and people and places impacted by those stronger storms and those low-lying areas. God, we lift up to you all those places where weather is weird, where it's not the right temperature, where it's snowing when it shouldn't, where it's hot, where it shouldn't be, where the rain patterns have switched and changed. God, we lift up to you those places where those weather patterns have created challenges and problems for the people and the animals, and the earth itself. And Holy One, we ask you, we ask you to be with our world leaders. We ask you to change their minds, 
to change their hearts, to help us find a way to save this amazing place you have gifted us with. We know the answers. They aren't easy, but they're doable. We can fix this. We can make this planet stay a livable, wonderful environment. We need the courage. We need the courage of leaders to stand up to powerful interests. We need the courage of your people to get out in the streets. We need the courage to demand better. So Holy One, we ask you to change the hearts and minds of those who can transform this system easily. today and we ask you to be present with those we know that are hurting we have family and friends who are ill who are struggling with work who are facing burdens beyond their control we ask you to surround them with your love, to enfold them with your care. And Holy One, be with us. You know the prayers that are on our hearts. Hear our words even when we don't have the words to speak to you. May those words be our prayer to you. Amen.